So most apps we use, most apps where we're gonna need are gonna be completely free, but there's a handful of apps that I would pay for just because of how good they are. Like the title suggests, we're gonna get right into it. These are three apps that are worth every penny. And as a bonus, I gave free alternatives to each and every one of these apps. First up is an app called Dynamic Lake Pro. This is an app that makes use of the notch on the MacBook, which is something that Apple should have done right off the gate, right out of the gate, similar to what they did with the iPhone. When they released the notch iPhone, they made use of it. They had the audio functionality, they called it the dynamic island, whatever. You could have called this the dynamic notch which is probably where the app got its name from. It's one of the many apps that do this, but this is the one that does it the best. It adds a few things to the notch. Most notably, it copies the Dynamic Island audio interface thingy. So anytime you're playing audio, whether it be from Spotify, Apple Music on your browser, it's gonna pop up there and show you kind of like a little interface, a little UI, album art, little sound waves. You can also hover over there. There's trackpad integration where if you swipe on your trackpad while you're hovering over it, it'll skip tracks or go back. You can also click it, play, pause, all that stuff. You know, it just adds some nice spice to it. Not only does it add the familiar audio UI, when you right click the notch, it'll pop up a little display. You got your time, your weather, and your calendar integration up there. It'll also give you notification alerts for your calendar, for your messages. You gotta mess around with the permissions, but it's doable and it actually works very nice and it looks almost native to the Mac OS operating system. It's not all eye candy though. When you drag a file up to the notch, you're gonna see a menu pop up with four different options. The first of which is to copy to a target location. I have mine set to documents folder. You can easily have this set up to an external hard drive, SSD, whatever. And when you drag that file there or any file there, it will copy it to that drive. The second option is a file converter. Now this is something that every once in a while you need. Uh, you'll want a file in a PNG or a PDF. There's always need for a file converter. And if you're like me, I normally just go on uh, Google, look up file online file converter, do it that way. But this adds some real functionality to the notch and overall just your MacBook in general. Once you drag a file up to the converter, it'll ask you what you wanna convert it to and then it'll just copy it directly to the location of the origin file. So I actually made a mistake. The default location for any converted file is gonna be set to your desktop by default. You can go in the settings and change it to whatever you want. All right, back to the video. The third option is pretty self-explanatory. This is AirDrop. So similar to an app that I featured a while ago called Drop Zone, when you drag up the file there onto the airdrop icon, it will pop up the airdrop menu and you can easily airdrop things. It's very fast, very sleek, not much more to say about it. The last one is a pretty unique thing I haven't seen uh, that often and that's a iCloud shareable link. Now what this does is when you drag it there, it will upload it to your iCloud drive and create a shareable link that you can then copy and paste wherever you want. So this is a very easy way to make a quick shareable link to someone who's not even nearby. If they don't have an, a MacBook, whatever, you could easily copy, paste, send it messages, Discord, whatever. It's a very easy, and like I said, a very native looking feature to have. The free alternative to Dynamic Lake Pro is an app called MediaMate. Now this is still technically paid, but they have unlimited demo times up to 30 minutes. So you could start as many times as you want if you really wanna use it for free, you can. This is the closest thing I could find. Unfortunately, it's only used to spice up your notch and make it uh, a media control center type thing. There's no other functionality to it. It's really the closest alternative I could find. All right, next up is an app called Eagle. Eagle is an asset manager. You could use it in a bunch of different ways. Its main use is probably for creative domains. Um, but you can really use it as a central hub to sort of collect all your interests, save things, bookmark things. Uh, I use it in a bunch of different ways. There's even a browser extension that allows you to save things directly from Chrome, Firefox, Safari, right onto Eagle. But like I said, I use it in a bunch of different ways. I save a lot of my car manuals, uh, car repair manuals, links, stuff like that. I also save my YouTube audio sound effects, YouTube sounds that I would probably wanna be going back to. Primarily what I found myself always focusing on for Eagle would be the sorting and uh, collection of my reference photos for photography. So a lot of uh, product photography, proportions, um, angles, any references I would need to sort of go back to 
for future jobs are just all collected there. You're probably only gonna be using Eagle with a local library on your Mac, but you can actually create one on your iCloud Drive or even integrate it with Google Drive uh, through the Google Drive Sync app where it kind of mounts. But mostly you're probably gonna be using it locally. Just wanted to mention that. The free alternative to Eagle is an app called raindrop.io. Raindrop is very similar, functions very similar. It's not as nice and pretty. The UI is not that great. You do need an account and it is cloud-based and there are limitations of 100 megabytes per month uploaded files uh, with their free tier, but it's 100% usable free if you want. Last but not least is an app called Chronosync Express. This is the only app I'm talking about that's available on the Mac App Store, and this is an app I've been using for years. If you're like me, you value backups, multiple backups. I back up my whole laptop every few weeks to an external SSD, external hard drive, but there's some things that I like keeping on another drive, and that's my photo work and my client work folders. Chronosync Express allows you to make tasks that with the press of a button will either just copy new files from a target location onto that drive, or it could be another folder. It'll copy new ones. You can sync deletions. You can make them exactly the same. So if you delete something from this drive, it will delete it from this one as well. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do, a lot of different settings you can explore. I'm a very simple guy. I make a copy. All the new files, I make it replicate onto the other drive. That's it. So any new changes onto this in terms of new files added will be put here. If I delete stuff from here, it will not touch from here. You get what I'm saying? I just want a one-way backup. So yeah, there's a lot of different features, but the app works great. Never had an issue. Like I said, I've been using it for years. The free alternative to Chronosync Express is an app called Free File Sync. Pretty self-explanatory. It's essentially the same functionality as Chronosync Express, just really not as pretty, almost intimidating because of how bare bones the UI is. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So it does have one over on Chronosync Express, which is only available on Mac OS. So if you really don't want to spend the extra cash for Chronosync Express, you know, which I get it, Free File Sync is uh, just as good of an option. It just won't look as pretty. So that basically includes the video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know which apps you picked up. Let me know if you just got the free ones or maybe you did a mix. Let me know which ones you bought, which ones you got for free. And let me know your experience with them. Uh, I really appreciate you enjoying. <laughs> I really appreciate you watching the video and uh, please consider liking if you enjoyed. And like I said, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Peace out.